Okay, what is with people and your fucking cell phones? These fucking cell phones. Now I have a cell phone. It serves a purpose, but I'm not married to the goddamn thing. So last night, I go see Jeff Lynn's ELO at the Bridgestone Arena here in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm telling you, Jeff Lynn must have been laughing to the fucking bank. And that's fine. I don't fault him for it. $40 t-shirts. And I saw people buying them left and right. Now I'm sure he's not getting all that because I heard the... <laughs> I heard that the uh, venue gets a cut of the proceeds, but either way, he's got to be laughing to the bank, laughing all the way back. And here's part of the reason why. Now I'm sitting up in the 45-hour section. That's as cheap as you can get. And there's a guy, the whole night I can see him. He's one row ahead of me and over this way. He's playing on his fucking phone the whole night. I'm like, you pay 45 hours to come to see this concert and you're not even watching it? What are you, an idiot? So I, I'm telling you, these musicians, they got to be laughing to the bank. All you goddamn millennials and social media morons that can't put your phones down, even at a concert. <laughs> How was a concert? I don't know, I stared at my phone all night. The other thing with these fucking phones, now my wife is going to another musical event not that far away. And because I'm a nice, good husband, I help her out. You know, I come get her when I'm done. And then, uh, you know, so the goons don't get her. So... After I drop my wife off, I'm walking back to my venue. There's people looking at their phones, and they're not, they're not paying attention. They're walking. Now, sometimes they wind up dropping their phones on the L tracks, and then they go down and get them, and they get hit by a train. And then people get upset because nobody helped her off the tracks. Look, it sucks she died, but you know what? Suppose someone goes to help her off the tracks. They get pulled down in the process, and they get hit by the train, too. Is it possible that maybe some people didn't want to sacrifice their life or lives because someone could not live without her phone so much as she had to crawl down onto the tracks of the Chicago L red line to get the phone? Let that go. Get another phone. You can get another phone. You can't get another you. She's gone. She's out of there. And now her sister is sad and there's kids without a mother because of a fucking phone. It's not fucking worth it. Now, mind you, I value human life less, less than most people you'll ever meet because people get on my fucking nerves. It's just not working. Let the fucking phone go. All night long, so then I go back to get my wife. We're heading towards a bus. Everyone's doing this on their phones. They're not looking when they're fucking walking. I'm going to start elbowing you people in your melon fucking heads for this shit. Fucking pay attention. You know, I pay attention to where I'm going. My wife pays attention to where she's going. I'm sure there's a small handful of people out there to pay attention to where they're going, all 70 of you. But no, you know? And then they almost walk in. Those one walks into my wife. I'm like, you fucking pay attention. They just walk along the fucking sidewalk like a fucking jackass. Sometimes, you know, they're not paying attention here, but then they walk right in front of a car in traffic, and they're like, oh, what was me? Why'd this happen to me? Because you weren't paying attention on your phone. You walk right out in the middle of the road. Bam! You know what? You were stupid and now someone's got a screwed up car. Oh, what about my leg? What about my knee? You made your own appointment. Get bent. Get bent. So anyway, everybody, put the fucking phone down. It won't kill you. But if you drop the phone and you go get it on the train tracks, it will. And that sucks. There's now a kid without a mom because she couldn't put that phone down. There's a grieving <coughs> sister without her sister because of that phone. The phone's not worth it. They're fucking annoying. On the other hand, Sweet tea. Diet Coke, please. On the other hand, phones and scooters are good for population control. The people that can't live without their scooters, their phones, and pay attention. So it's not worth it, gang. Pay some fucking attention and stop walking into me with your phones, because I'm gonna elbow you right in your right in your melon fucking head.